Surprise, surprise, everybody. Welcome to Hashtag Sports. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. What's up? This is Mario from Hashtag Sports. A little bit of a twist to something that we usually do here over at Hashtag Sports. Uh, it's usually Paul giving these breakdowns and these uh, little statistical analysis things. But um, Paul uh, was talking with Dan Mitchell on his show the other day, and Paul and I have been brainstorming a few things. If you're around the NFL, talking about the NFL, you want to talk about the quarterback position, which is the most highly regarded position in the NFL, you start to talk about contracts and comparable numbers for some of these guys that are going on. And you can't get away from the comparison between Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. If you're going through the annals of what's been going on, uh, obviously Josh Allen signing, signing his extension, $258 million, which doesn't start until 2023. But everyone keeps talking about, well, Jackson is the MVP. You know, he got this. You know, why wouldn't he garner the same type of contract as Josh Allen? Well, I decided to do a little bit of a st statistical breakdown of the first 16 starts and the last 16 starts for both Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson and kind of try to break down the, the fact that what, what we've been talking about a lot on hashtag sports as far as the progression of a quarterback versus coming into the NFL and actually have a system built for you. And we've mentioned it many times on the streams about Greg Roman and the, and the work that he did bringing, um, bringing San Francisco to the Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick. And he just is a similar type of skill set. He, I, I believe Jackson is a lot better athlete than Kaepernick, but that's a type of system, you know, where you have the, the true dual threat quarterback. You know, let me just say this right away, right out the gate. They play in two completely different systems, but the statistics that I'm going to try to show you today highlight the fact of a progression of a quarterback versus a quarterback coming into a system that is built around him already. So the first that we, we're going to go over is we're going to go over uh, Lamar Jackson statistics as I have on the screen right now. Um, so I'll just kind of give you a breakdown of the statistics that he had in his first 16 games. Jackson didn't start until the 10th game of his rookie year. That's the first thing I want to highlight there. Um, in his first 16 games, he was able to go 13 and three, 260 completions for 413 attempts for a 63% completion percentage. So he threw for 3,150 yards, 20 touchdowns, to eight picks. He also ran the ball 225 times for 1200 yards. 10 touchdowns, and he was sacked 33 times. Those are all just mind-blowing statistics. Obviously, the true measure of a quarterback is the wins and losses that he has. So, you know, going on that, he was very successful in that, came out of the gates with a 63% completion percentage, only eight picks in his first 16 games. That's really good for a, for a quarterback. But he did run the ball 225 times in his first 16 games. That is a lot. Now we go on and we try to take a look at Allen's first 16 games. Now, completely different. He started in the second game of his rookie year. Obviously, Bills fans, we know because of the Nathan Peterman meltdown. Anyway, so his first 16 games, he had a 9-7 and seven record, 265 completions for 468 attempts for a 57% completion percentage. A lot of the worries that a lot of people had about him coming out of college as a raw prospect, it kind of aligned with that, and a lot of, a lot of the tractors tend to gravitate toward that. 15-19 to 19 touchdown to interception ratio. He was also running quite a bit because a lot of the things that were when he was going through his progressions weren't there. I think he was one read and out, one, two read and out. And if you know, if you go back and watch some of the, the game films of that, you'll see that as well. 126 rushes for 763 yards, 11 touchdowns, sacked 38 times in his first 16 games. So he was on almost the David Carr path of getting sacked as a quarterback coming out uh, and trying to learn a new system, a system that was completely foreign to him. You know, you go to the other side with Lamar Jackson. He had a system with Greg Roman that was built around his skill set. Allen was trying to learn a new system that really wasn't tailored to his skill set, if you know about the EP system. And unfortunately, the man who has run the EP system to perfection for 20 years up in New England, who will remain nameless. But then we start to go over the last 16 games 
of both Allen and Jackson, I think it starts to open it up a little bit for everybody. Lamar Jackson has played a total of 48 games. His last 16 games, he's 11 and five. Still a still a re- really good record. I mean, the guy is first 16, last 16. The guy is 24 and eight. I mean, you can't complain about that if you're Baltimore. He had he has 259 completions compared to his 260 for for 407 attempts. So he's right around where he was in his first 16 games playing in this off playing in the same offense. I think that's key too. We're starting to talk about this and the comparisons that we're making of both quarterbacks is they're playing in the same system that they came into the league with. Uh, Greg Roman and Brian Dable. He's thrown for nearly 200 less yards. He has more interceptions, but he also has more touchdown passes. He's running the ball significantly less. But, you know, it, that sack number is still right around the same number. He's been sacked 31 times compared to the 33 times. So you start to look at some of the comparisons there of, of Jackson, and then it really starts to shed some light on it when you look at Allen now in his last 16 games. Um, obviously, his record is much improved from the 9-7 and seven to the 12-4. and four. He has almost 120 – he has 121 more completions than he did in his first 16 games, throwing for 10% – you guys got to realize, this, this is the, the number that's mind-blowing to me, is the fact that he's thrown for 10% more better completion rate than he has in his rookie year. Uh, he's thrown for 1,100 more yards. He's more than uh, doubled his touchdowns while dropping his interceptions, and he's running significantly less. And if you look at that, he's running significantly less. He's also been sacked 12 less times compared to Jackson's too. That means he's progressing through his offense a little bit better. He's progressing through his reads a little bit better, and he's starting to become more acclimated to the EP system that he's going to be running. So when you look at this, hopefully, I mean, these are just, statistics thrown out there of the first 16 games of Allen versus Jackson versus the last 16 games of Allen and Jackson, you start to see a little bit of how a quarterback comes into the league with a offense that's tailored to his strengths versus a quarterback who's progressing and getting better and better every year. And I, and for me, I think it's probably the reason why you're starting to see why Allen and the Buffalo Bills organization decided to extend him six more years for $258 million. And you haven't really heard many talks about Lamar Jackson in his plight to try to get a new contract. Now, will Jackson get a new contract? He may, he may not. I don't know. I don't know how you can deny having a former you know, league MVP and not sign him to his second deal. But the fact that he doesn't have an extension in the works or it hasn't been announced or anything of that nature – I think if you just take a you know a nice little snapshot of the statistics that are going on, both playing with the same coordinators that they came into the league with, you start to see the comparison between a quarterback who came into the league with an offense designed around him and a quarterback designed and progressing and growing as a quarterback in the NFL.